what's up guys welcome back to hmht so as you can see here apple has released a new update and it's ios 15 beta 5 and for me as you can see the update size actually comes in at exactly 880 megabytes and this is because i'm updating from ios 15 beta 4 if you're coming from a different version you might see a slightly bigger update size now i decided to cover this update because it does have quite a number of new features and changes so let's go in to see the software changes that came with this update you can see the software version that we have here 19a5318f so we now have an f at the end and if we go down you can see the modern firmware version that we have as 4.0 50.02 so those are the software changes now let's look into the new features and changes in photos while we're there there's a new splash screens that's there for the photos app so the moment you open up your photos app for the first time you are going to see this new update or updated splash screen and also for some people when they power on their device for the first time after updating they get like a new notification that prompts them to sign in so that could be something that happens to you if you do update and then also there's an updated weather icon so as you can see the one that we have here looks very darker the bluish that's in the background you can see it's almost as dark as the support app that we have here for apple so that is an updated weather app and i believe when the next watchOS version comes out the beta 5 it's also going to have this updated weather app and also something that is updated with the app store has to do with beta applications and also the new splash screen that you can see here so you can see the moment you open up your app store for the first time you see this splash screen and then also if you are using like a beta version of a specific app you can actually be able to uh, see it and the app store itself will tell you that hey you are using a beta version of this app so that is something that's new within the app store and now also something that's here with um, accessibility if you go into settings and you go to where it says accessibility and go to where it says um, where is it audio and visual right there and you select background sounds you have the option here to actually stop sound when locked so if you want background sounds to stop when your iPhone is locked you can turn that on but if not you can keep it off so that's something that's also new with iOS 15 beta 5 if we turn down our control center here you can see that this camera icon has been updated and this made it similar to what we have on the lock screen of the iPhone so you can see that and if you have an airport and that has special audio you actually get a toggle that you can um, switch between on the control center which is something that's new and also uh, when you turn on your do not disturb I'm sure you saw that I have do not disturb here so you can see that notifications have been grouped even further you have notifications that came in where while do not disturb was on so if I click there you'll be able to see all the notifications unlike before where it would just show that you are in do not disturb and then put everything in one uh, section so that has been updated when you go into safari and open up a page this is the apple website developer page that i'm loading the moment you scroll down you can see that if you scroll up the refresh button here on the bottom is actually there so you can actually refresh this page if you want to but the moment you go uh, into like scroll down you can see that the refresh icon disappears before it was there on beta 4 and here it's not available so that is another change with noting also another app that has been updated with minor changes and a new splash screen has to do with the maps so the first time you open up the maps you see updated map style and new place cards as well as improved search so that is something that you can always uh, look into and also if you use the home app you can see that we also have a new splash screen it's loading accessories but before it does this i'm sure it should give me a new splash screen actually i think i did uh, get a splash screen and i clicked okay so in home you get a new splash screen and also if you use translate also you get a new splash screen there so quite a number of um, a splash screens that's there i think there's another app that got a splash screen that's podcast so podcast also has a new splash screen you can see what's new in apple podcast so 
a number of apps received a number of splash screens now there's a fix that came with this update that i want to show you before on beta 4 when i would open my twitter it would just crash instantly and then work for some time if i give it a few hours after uh, i'd open it again and it would crash so since updating to ios 15 beta 5 i haven't opened my twitter so let's go ahead and see if it crashes so as you can see it's actually working and that's a good thing um it's uh better and stable if it does crash then obviously i'll let you know here on twitter and um it's it seems stable in the meantime now those seems to be most of the new features and changes and also when it comes to uh, audio connectivity there is a lot of feedback that uh, this update fixes a lot of audio connectivity issues as well as bluetooth issues that a number of people were having so there you go ios 15 beta 5 has quite a number of new features and changes and as you can see it's kind of a substantial update almost a gig it's ranging between 500 to 1.2 gigs so that's that's um, the update for you and it does bring about quite a number of splash screens as well as minor new features and tweaked application for faces now that's about it for me guys if you like this video then leave a like and stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace